Hello everyone, so today I want to talk to you about the simple past tense. So let's start. First of all, we have the regular verbs and the irregular verbs. So the regular verbs are very simple. You only add ed. Okay, so here we have play, played. So this is in the present, this is in the simple past form. Okay, live, lived, stay, stayed study, studied, cook, cooked, listen, listened, and work, worked. And we have the irregular verbs. To be, you have to change to was for the singular form or were for the plural form. Go, went, have, had, sleep, slept, do, did, see, saw, and think, thought. Okay, well, let's go to the next one. Now for the affirmative phrase. So you see here a phrase in the simple present. I play video games every day. If you want to change this phrase to the simple past form, you have to add ed to the verb play. So I play video games every day. I played video games yesterday. And the negative form you have to add for the simple present. I don't play video games every day and in the simple past form you have to change do for did okay I don't play I didn't play video games yesterday okay don't didn't now we're going to see the interrogative form uh, look at this affirmative phrase in the present I play video games every day so if you have this phrase in the present you have to transform this into a question. So you have to use do. Do you play video games every day? Yes, I do. No, I don't. In the simple past tense, you have to do the same thing. But the only difference is that you have to change do, the auxiliary verb, to did. Okay, do, did. Did you play video games yesterday? So uh, yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. So after did, the verb is in the present. So pay attention here. Always after did, the verb is in the present form. Okay, so let's move on. Interrogative with the verb to be. So here's another phrase in the present. She is at home today. So if you want to make a question, you have to invert the verb to be, you only invert. You don't use do in this case, so you only have to invert because we are talking about the verb to be. She is, is she? Okay, now it's a question. Is she at home today? Yes, she is or no, she isn't. Well, for the simple past form, it is the same thing. Okay, it is equal. She was, we change is for the simple past form, was. The past of is, is, was. Okay, she was at home yesterday. So we invert, was she at home yesterday? Yes, she was, or no, she wasn't. Now we have here affirmative and negative. So I am at home today, she is, they are. So in the negative form, I am not at home today, she is not, or she isn't, they are, or they aren't. So in the simple past tense, it is not different. You only change the verb, okay? I am for I was, she was, or they were. Were is for the plural form, and was is for the singular form. So in the negative form, I was not, you see, I am not, I was not, she was not, or she wasn't. She isn't, she wasn't, they aren't, they aren't weren't, were not, or you can abbreviate, weren't. Now one thing that is very important to know is the pronunciation of the ED. So be careful because there are three different pronunciations for this. It's not always equal. And we have those rules here. When the word ends with the letter P or the sound of letter P, K, F, G, H, S H C H double S C okay dance there's an E here but the sound is C
X, okay? So the sound of ED is T. It's like ED, but the pronunciation is T. For example, I helped, helped, okay? There's the sound of T. I helped my mother yesterday. I cooked, I cooked beans last night. Cooked, okay? My dog sniffed cocaine. Oh, that's a bad dog, right? Bad, don't do this dog, you're gonna die. So my dog sniffed cocaine, t, okay? There's a T sound here. We left so much last weekend. Left, she washed her car two months ago. So washed, there's a T sound, remember that, okay? So I watched, there's, ch, t, there's a T sound and there's a CH sound. So ch, t, okay? I watched a movie last weekend. So I watched the movie last weekend. He kissed, okay, t, okay? He kissed the floor after his first airplane flight. They danced, okay, danced, okay, again, T sound in the rain yesterday afternoon. And he fixed, okay, fixed. I'm forcing a little bit here, okay? So he fixed his car three days ago. Well, this is the T pronunciation. Now we have the D pronunciation. When the word ends with the letter L, N, R, G, V, S, Z, B, or M. Sound, okay, that the S sound, because use, there's an E here, but the sound is S, use, love, okay, there's a V sound here, okay? So, uh, the pronunciation is D, I called, called, okay, there's the D, okay, D. I cleaned my house last week, she offered, he damaged, uh, here is like damage, d, okay, there's a d at the end, okay, they loved, I used, he was amazed, he rubbed his bald head, he claimed, okay, so pay attention to the d, okay, I called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, amazed, rubbed, claimed, okay, so let's move on. Now the last one when the verbs end with T or D and the sound is ID. So I started it, okay, started. I started a new online course last week. I needed, I needed to buy this at the shop. So needed it, okay, it. He commanded it, okay, he commanded an army to fight against hunger. He waited it. Okay, he waited all day for his parcel. That's a parcel. Well, this is the same rule, but when the, the pronunciation is D, when words end in a vowel sound, so vowel, A-E-I-O-U, my dog follow O, so this is the sound of vowel, O, OI, A, I, U, okay, sound of vowel. So, your pronunciation is D, D, okay? My dog followed, followed me to the school this morning. She enjoyed D, okay, D. She enjoyed playing with the kids. He played until midnight. He tried to fix the car, but it didn't work. He tried. The strike continued, continued for two months, okay? Thank you, everyone, and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.